Hello, and welcome to this demo video for Superdesk, the CMS for newsrooms and enterprise. As a headless CMS, Superdesk produces no HTML web pages itself. Instead, all of its content is accessed through an API. This means that Superdesk fits neatly into your pre existing content pipelines. In this introductory video, we'll look at how to create content and how the editorial content workflow works. Desks are the way that teams are organized within Superdesk. They can be similar to desks that would be found in a traditional newsroom. For example, you might have a sports desk, a foreign desk, or an editor's desk. Desks can be configured to contain different stages and assigned users with different roles. To get a high level overview of all the content currently in a desk, you can use the monitoring view. This shows all of the stories and articles currently being worked on within this desk. Content in Superdesk is really created in one of two ways. The first way is to start from scratch using a template. The second option is to use one of the ingest sources within your Superdesk instance to search for content and use it as a starting off point for your own. We're going to take a look at the ingest process first because it's really the more powerful tool that Superdesk offers for creating content. Ingest sources can be a wide variety of things from Reuters, the AP, to Instagram, RSS, and others. So when we're going to start creating an article from Ingest, we're going to come over here to the global search tool. This is a really powerful aspect of Superdesk. It's very flexible and it allows you to search across all content which has been stored in Superdesk. You can search any of four databases Ingest, which is for articles which have been brought in from a third party, um, Production, which is for articles which have been worked on currently by your staff, Published, which is for articles which have been published in the last seven days, and Archived is for articles which have been published more than seven days ago. This tool is very powerful, too much to get into really now. So instead, I'm going to look down the right hand side here and pick a piece of ingested content to start my article with. So I'm going to pick this one about the US tightening travel testing requirements. If I click on that, I can open it up and you get the content from your third party service. This could be uh, title, article content, there is really a whole range of metadata which you can import from third party ingest services. So if I like the look of this and I want to you know, now actually take what's provided here and write my own article about it, I can uh, press this button called fetch to and this will basically take this out of the ingest feed and it will put it in a certain desk. So I'm going to uh, fetch it to the business desk and I'm going to fetch it to the incoming stage. And the idea with these stages is that incoming is for content which has been pulled from ingest. The working stage is then when I've started to work on that piece. Um, and then when I'm ready, I'm just going to submit it to review. But these stages are completely custom and you can define your own ones to match whatever editorial workflow works best for you. So I'm going to press fetch and then that is going to uh, move it to the business desk, as you can see. So let's go back to the business desk up here. If we have a look at the monitoring view now, uh, we can see that under our saved search, we can find this article which has been fetched from ingest. I can then begin to edit this article. The editor in Superdesk is incredibly flexible, meaning that it can support whatever content requirements you have. For instance, the metadata panel at the top here is completely customizable, so you can store whatever information you need in relation to the article. This metadata can vary too, based on the profile which you assign to this story. Editing of the content itself works in a similarly flexible manner, with articles constructed from various blocks which also depend on the profile. For instance, in this profile we've defined, there is a headline with a maximum of 160 characters, optional featured media, an abstract, and then the actual body HTML of the content itself. For HTML blocks, Superdesk comes with a fully featured, rich text editor. Not only do you have your usual formatting tools, such as bold, italic, and underline, but you have the ability to embed content, insert media, tables, add inline comments and annotations, enable a suggestions mode, and more. The image editor which comes with Superdesk allows you to do some basic image manipulation directly in the browser eliminating the round trip between Superdesk and a third-party image editing application. It also has a focal point editor, meaning that whatever aspect ratio of image you want, the most important part of the image is always retained. When an author has finished, when an author has finished writing an article, 
they can then move it to another stage in the desk. Now that article has been sent to the review stage and an editor can read through the article, check it and make any changes needed. They can then publish this article so that it's accessible over the API.